One of the greatest opportunities we have, particularly from the perspective of a university, is how can we improve human health globally? Today, 30,000 children under the age of five die every day. It's an enormous number, and it's avoidable. But what do we need to avoid that? We really have to learn how to create the evidence and disseminate the evidence from a university to the field where these deaths are happening, where the health is really not as strong as it could be. One of the ways in which Yale is doing this is we have something called the Global Health Leadership Institute. And its major mission is to develop strong relationships between Yale faculty who are producing new evidence and the actual field, the delegations that come from the country, policymakers, practitioners, communities from the country, where we can really make a link between the Yale faculty who are producing what needs these countries need to take up and the country leadership themselves. An example that's a good one to think about is uh, the work that Yale is doing in Ghana through the Global Health Leadership Institute. Both with the Economic Growth Center and the School of Public Health, faculty here, engaged with faculty at the University of Ghana, have been able to document that nearly 7% of the GDP in Ghana has been foregone, in large part due to the mental health problems and the psychological distress, which translates into people not being able to work. Questions asked to community members in Ghana, how many days have you been unable to work due to your emotional distress in the last month, have helped us document exactly how much of the GDP has been foregone. This is an incredibly important problem. For the first time, the president of Ghana was able to say, I could invest in mental health, not just because it's the right thing to do, but it makes economic sense. It will help development in Ghana. And that's something we can do in multiple countries with getting faculty engaged with the actual policymakers in these countries.